Have you ever wondered what's really happening inside your body when you hold your breath during yoga? What if I told you that the simple act of breathing, something you do without even thinking, could unlock the hidden powers within you? Imagine being able to relax deeply, sharpen your focus, and even balance your hormones all through the way you breathe. How does the seemingly automatic action hold the key to better health? emotional stability, and even a longer, more vibrant life. In this video, I'll dive deep into the fascinating science behind breath control, lung capacity, and hormonal balance, the three pillars that elevate yoga from just a practice to a life-changing tool for health and well-being. Let's uncover how the way you breathe can transform your body and mind. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Devi Sundar and in my channel, I talk about breath, mental health and occupational well-being. If you've not already done, please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified on my weekly content. Without any further ado, let's dive in. When you hold your breath, a practice known in yoga, Kumbhaka, which I mentioned in my recent video, Video, the signs and roots of breath, uh, amazing things happen in your body. First, your levels of carbon dioxide rises. While this might be a little bit alarming, but it's actually beneficial. The increase in carbon dioxide signals your hemoglobin to release more oxygen to your tissues, a phenomenon called Bose effect. Essentially, your body learns to use oxygen more efficiently. It can be related to the famous code, necessity is the mother of invention. And holding your breath activates that vagus nerve that triggers your common digest system, the parasympathetic nervous system, and gets your body into a very relaxed state, reducing your stress, lowering your heart rate, and creates a profound sense of calmness. Now, what happens when you're holding the breath to your lung capacity? Yoga practices like pranayama are designed to strengthen your respiratory system. When you breathe deeply, you engage your muscles in your diaphragm and your intercostalis muscles, making them more stronger and more flexible. This improves the tidal volume, that's the amount of air you move with each breath, and your vital capacity, the total amount of air your lungs can hold. Over time, literally, you're training your lungs to work better. Deep breathing expands the alveoli, the tiny air sacs inside your lung. That is the end point where the air which you breathe in through your nose reaches. And from that end point, it is then exchanged to your body's uh, uh, resources and for all the functions. So deep breathing enhances this oxygen exchange from the alveoli into your body's resources and even helps to detoxify your body by expelling that carbon dioxide more efficiently. Now, what happens to your body's chemistry unrelated? to your hormonal functions. Breath control doesn't just affect your lungs and uh, it also affects your hormones. Shallow breathing often linked to stress increase in cortisol and adrenaline levels, but slow controlled breathing lowers the cortisol level, reducing the stress and inflammation. Plus, the controlled breathing boosts the endorphins, your body's natural painkiller and mood enhancer. And there is more. It also stimulates an hormone, DHEA, vitality hormone. DHEA stands for dehydroepiandrosterone, a hormone which supports your immune function and improves your mood and even slows down your aging. Deep breathing also increases oxygen delivery to your brain, encouraging the production of a brain-derived neurotropic factor, BDNF, a protein that enhances your brain health memory and mood regulation. Breath is tied to our emotions. Shallow, rapid breathing is often linked to fear or anxiety. While slow, deep breathing promotes that calm and stability inside us. When you breathe deeply, it helps to regulate your hormone and nervous system, creating an emotional balance. This, this can also improve your focus, reduce fatigue, and even lower the risk of chronic conditions like hypertension. Advanced practices like Kumbhaka, the breath retention, and Anilom Vilom, and as net nostril breathing, which I have demonstrated in many of my videos, go a step further balancing the nervous system and stabilizes the hormones. This can regulate insulin and glucose levels, reducing that uh, diabetic risk and balance balances your thyroid hormones for better energy and even enhances the melatonin production for deeper and more restorative sleep. Breath control in yoga isn't just about relaxation. It's a scientifically proven way to optimize your health from boosting the lung capacity and improving the oxygen efficiency to balancing the hormones and enhancing the emotional well-being. The benefits are endless. Ready to try these techniques for yourself? Stay tuned for my next video where I'll guide you through step-by-step -step instructions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
subscribe and hit the bell for more updates. Breathe easy and stay curious. Signing off, Davy Sundar. <laughs>